Aloha, top of the morning, friends and family. If this is your first time to the channel, I just wanna let you know that we put out beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces here. But this one is uncut. And in today's uncut, we're talking about the Neil Young and Joe Rogan beef over Spotify. This is something that I was not planning to talk about, but I kept thinking about it and it kept coming up in my feed. And uh, before you listen to what I'm about to say, I'd like you to, I would invite you to know that my opinion on this is the most important opinion of anybody else's opinion. And that sounds pretty, <laughs> pretty big headed, but um, I invite you to listen to what I'm gonna say. Uh, before you come to a full conclusion about what your thoughts are and what I have to say about this, because I, I think it's important. I think it's very important. Um, so it's 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 going to encompass something grander and greater than just Neil Young and and Joe Rogan podcast and and the media attention that it's obviously gotten as of late. If you do not know who Neil Young is, if you do not know who Joe Rogan is, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I congr congratulations, because uh, you're living your life better than I am, I think, and that's my opinion. Um, but, so here, let's, let's look at some facts. Uh, fact is, I've been a Neil Young fan most of my adult life, if not all of my adult life. Uh, my wife and I danced to Harvest Moon at our first at our wedding, our first dance, we uh, listened to a bunch of his music. I've attended many times the Bridge School Benefit concert that he and his uh, previous wife would put on and go and attend those and enjoy them and, and fully believe in everything that they were supporting there. Um, and I mean, I, I am a fan of Neil Young, big fan. Like, like I'm not just a casual fan, but a big fan. Like I've read his autobiography. Um, I play his music all the time with my own guitar and mouth. I've recorded his music, done covers. Um, I, I really believe a lot of what Neil talks about in his songs. Uh, I think that he's amazing. Like, my wife and I are big fans. He, I guess he comes to uh, our town sometimes to do, like, gift shopping and, and or antiquing or whatever. But the point is, the fact is, I'm a huge Neil Young fan, and I... Definitely support uh, Neil Young and a lot of what he stood for in his career and life. And another fact is I'm also a huge fan of the Joe Rogan podcast. I think that it's great. I mean, I've listened to easily hundreds, hundreds of episodes at this point, and I really like it because it it just, I mean, he has on such a wide variety of guests from all over the spectrum of, of in intelligence or, or where their station is in life or what they believe, um, you know, whether it's left or right or black or white or whatever, it, it, it comes together in a way that I really enjoy. And, and just listening to the conversations, I've learned so much, you know, whether it's a, a doctor from CNN or uh, the doctor that created the uh, mRNA vaccine technology or um, you know, Snoop Dogg or, or Aerosmith. James Hetfield from Metallica. I love those episodes. Um, it's just a great way to kill time when you're on a long drive and, and soak up some, what I consider to be pretty good information from most of the guests he has on, you know. Um, it just has a very open way of allowing people to talk. And being somebody who on a much smaller scale interviews folks and have faced criticism for people I've had on, I can sympathize with that. In fact, just the other day, I got a random message from somebody I, I don't know that was trying to tell me like their opinion and how I should incorporate their opinion onto the people that I have on my show and why I should do that. And I just like, it, I, can, I can sympathize with, with what all of that comes with. Um, do I think that either of them should have be kicked off Spotify or do I think that Neil Young did the right thing by doing what he did to try and get somebody else off of the Spotify platform? No, no, I, I don't agree with that. I, I am a full believer in freedom of speech and that means that everybody should say whatever they want, you know, as long as you're not actually causing harm to somebody else, like immediate harm, you know, like the old fire in a theater type of, uh, type of thing. But other than that, I think you should be able to say whatever the hell you want. Um, Period. Uh, I think it's just 
goes, it works. I think that things turn out being better that way, uh, in ultimately. And that if you try to shut down other people from expressing their opinions, then that leads to an, an ugly place. So we got the facts out of the way. I'm a fan of both. Um, now my opinion is that this is just another headline, another media headline that does what so many other media headlines have done in the past and probably will continue to do in the future, which is create this divisive feel in our culture, in our society. It's like you either believe this one side or you believe this other side and you, they, there's, it doesn't matter what it is. Like this one just happened to grab me because I am such a huge fan of both of these gentlemen. Like a big, huge fan of both. And I, I would not, so I, I feel like I was somewhere in the middle along the lines of, you know, all these opinions that are being thrown out there online. And I've taken criticism in the past for having such a such an opinion, for being in the middle on certain topics that are more contradictory. And people take, tell me I'm taking the easy way out by sitting in that spot and just, you know, just like pick a side or if you don't pick a, and And people <laughs> say this easy way out, but it's really not true. If you line up more in the middle on any given topic, what tends to happen is the people that are really f strongly felt on one side or, or the other, they both attack you. But like, how could you possibly not think that this is the worst thing ever? You know, you just get it from both sides. So it's really not the easy way out when you have a more uh, down the middle type of opinion on any given controversial topic. It's, it's not the easy way out. If anything, it's like, it would be easier to just pick a side and have like a camp that you can be like, oh, I'm on team Neil or I'm on team Joe or team whatever it is, you know? Um, but I didn't make this video. I didn't make this video just to express my opinions on that. That's 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 not really the main message that I want to be taken from this video. The main message that I'd like you to take from this video is that I believe that that's not the norm. That this division that you see online is just lots of people with very strong opinions or, or a minority of people with very strong opinions and that are very loud about it on either side. And that the majority of us line up somewhere more in the middle on most of these topics and are generally quieter about it and don't make a big noise online. And that this division that seems to be permeating our culture is just something that you see on the internet where people have the anonymity and the safety net that comes with that and being able to just say crazy things with very little, uh, you know the word. And I believe that the majority of us line up in the middle on most of these controversial topics and that maybe those of us that feel that way on these things should be a little bit louder about it, as uncomfortable as it can be to not agree with either side of any controversial topic. Um, I think that that's important. And I have a challenge for you guys today. This is my challenge for you guys today. It's a very simple challenge. It's very easy, but I think it's important and will be highly effective. It's simple. It's so simple. I, I, if you don't do it, then I say that you're weak and that you need to work on yourself. But if you do accept this challenge, well, I congratulate you for being an uh, exemplary human being. Go on social media, whatever platform you prefer, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever it is, whatever it is, just make a post, a text post. You can have a picture if you want, but just a text post, you know, Twitter, whatever, whatever. Um, and just tag somebody that you know and love and tell them that. Tag them and tell them that you love them. Maybe include why, maybe not. But that's, that's just it. Tag somebody you know, tag somebody you love, and tell them that you love them. And put it out there for the public to see. And maybe just that simple gesture will help to counteract all of the negativity that tends to come through the feed because we're so drawn to it. We're so much these humans, this species that just can't help but just watch a train wreck and just like, just need, just gets stuck on it like this. Like, wow. That's your challenge for the day. And uh, Neil Young, Joe Rogan, I love both of you. I know it's not technically uncut now, sue me, but I had a thought that I 
really wanted to include in that video, in this video, which is that I think that most of us have as many people in our lives as just about we think we can handle and that anything else is going to just be putting a little over the top because our cups are full. And I think for that reason, it becomes very easy for many of us, myself included at times, and probably everybody else, to just write people off and have some easy reason, no matter how small it is, no matter what that person may have done in their life, no matter what great things that person may bring to the world, if there's one little thing about them that is just like, oh, no, that's, I dismiss this person, they're not worth my time. I think it's very easy for us to do, and that's part of what feeds into the, the culture that we think we're seeing online of just people writing each other off left and right. Yeah, that's it. I don't know what to do about it, but yeah. Thanks for watching.